What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Amanda Ray here. I've got Richie. I've got Bradley the ginger. Richie's other half is back over there. You'll see her everywhere. And then we got Yosh. Today we are doing what seems to be the impossible. We are moving the four posts outside. Um, two posts is obviously staying inside. It's built for two posts. This house is built for two posts, not for four posts. So right now we are decluttering underneath so we can lower it, take all of our storage off the top. After we take off all the storage, we're gonna start disassembling the four posts and moving it outside. And it's gonna go right where the Evo is, right here. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works. It's gonna be a nightmare to be honest, but we are going to try and make it happen. I will update you guys periodically, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna record. Hi. We got all the junk, all of our storage, all of our extra car parts that we don't actually need. So you'll see a lot of this stuff up for sale or in my trash can. Off the four posts. Last thing to come off the four posts is gonna be our four wheeler. And then we start disassembling and moving. Wish us luck. We gonna need it. Alrighty guys, so we've got the four posts starting to disassemble. We got all the cables out. Um, I did, I do have the manual. I've got a full manual. So we're gonna put it back together to spec. We're not entirely sure it was put together in spec from the previous owners. But we are going to put it all back together. But right now we're finishing up. I'm gonna do the ultimate car shuffle. I'm gonna move the Caddy and the Camaro. So I figured I'd do a cold start for you. Such an angry cold start. I'm gonna let that warm up and I'm gonna start this car. Alrighty guys, so it is now nighttime. We've lost a lot of hours and we've got half the lift outside. Uh, we don't have it in place yet. We have to move the Evo out of the way. Um, it's very difficult and very sketchy. Um, not 100% sure if it's going to be completely functional by the end of tonight, but it is making its way outside and then we're going to have our three bay back open again. So, yay! Alright. I will update you guys when we have more. Alrighty guys, so here's another update for you guys. We've got the lift outside. We've got all four posts outside. And we're starting to put the sides back on. Um, it's very heavy pieces. We're using like little dollies to move them around and whatnot. Super sketchy. Of course we had to move the Evo out of the way, which also... Super sketchy. This Evo is going to be going inside soon. Very soon. Very soon because it gets super dirty out here. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Four posts is finally outside. We are thinking about enclosing the sides um, just so it's a little bit more weatherproof. And uh, obviously lighting's not an issue. So yeah, here it is, guys. We're going to try and get everything back together and situated and maybe get it functional tonight. We'll, we'll see. We can put a dyno right here. We don't need a dyno. Dyno right here? <laughs> no. No dyno. Rear wheel drive dyno? No, we don't need a dyno. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe down the road. No. All right, so I will update you guys in a little bit. All righty, guys. So we've got the four posts starting to wire up all the cables. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to pretend like I know how to do that. So I am watching and learning how they are doing it. We've got the manual here, and we're just making sure we're putting it back together. Now, 
we did realize that the previous owner had all of these washers and shims on the top of one of the posts. And I guess he did that so he can get a little bit more tightness on the cables and get higher of a clearance on the lift. Super sketchy. So we're just doing it the right way because we don't obviously need the clearance out here as much. We're just gonna be doing oil changes and whatnot. So it is a work in progress. We are getting close to getting done. I will update you guys soon. Alrighty guys, so it is the moment of truth. I am sitting here watching them put in an extension cord until we get it wired better. Well, you're on a, well, you're on a break. I'm on a break. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. The other one's for the RV. I think it's, it's a different... Just fucking run the cord. Language. Just the no, just give me the thing. Give me the other <laughs> Alright, so this is the moment of truth to see if we wired, or to see if we put all the cables back together, to see if we put everything back together. I have no clue. Um, Brad, is that... Babe. Babe, do you have to put that back together, or is this just for the cables? No, that's for the lock. We don't need the lock right now. Heard. You need a three prong. You don't have a three prong extension cord? <laughs> We've got one three prong extension cord and it's above us until we get that hardwired. Hmm. Going down's gonna make it tighten. Yes, going down makes it tighten. Going down. Because it's gonna put tension on them, stupid. Moment of truth. We are going down on the lift to tighten yeah. the cables. Why are you going up? It's not gonna work. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. But it's not gonna start moving until it actually tenses. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Why is that side so low? That side didn't go up. Is it even? That side is not. There you go. I was so scared that it was just going to drop. That side's not moving. Maybe we need to re-grease it. Because all this grease over here looks old and we need yeah, to... definitely needs to grease all, oh, yeah. But we probably need, uh... Do we have a white lithium grease? Yeah. You should have some from the other lift, don't you? Yeah, we have plenty, I'm sure, because I think we overbought, remember? session of attempting to do it, it the cables weren't perfectly aligned yes, I told you, it's gonna be that so and we're not entirely sure if that has to do what all right so we're not sure entirely why the cables weren't perfect the first time around but we watched a couple YouTube videos figured it out right. so here is test number two now you gotta pull it, you gotta go down. Oh, we gotta go down, we gotta pull the locks. Yeah, we haven't hooked up the locks yet, guys, so we are manually pulling the locks. Let's set the camera down for one second. Alright, go. Alright, so now it should be perfect. We will see 
if we manage to move a four post with just a couple dollies. <laughs> Let's find out. So slow and not weak. I know. It'll be alright. They sat down at the same time now. Alright. All click at the same time. Let's go. Oh, much better. This one's not Much better. This one's not dragging it's, like it was. Yeah. Oh, yes. They all clicked? Oh, it was perfect. It's in the thing, what are you talking about? It fills up after when you go down. Really? All right guys, we've got the four post completely done. It makes a lot of noise when there's no weight on it, but it is moved from inside the garage. I'll show you where it was before. Our garage is super messy because we have all the stuff that was on the four post, and this is where it was before. I mean, when we bought the house, it was where the two post is. And then we wanted the two post, so we bought the two post, um, and then moved the four post over, and then after, it was my bright idea to move it outside, since uh, we've got all the space out here. Alrighty guys, so the four post is officially done, as you guys can see. Super excited to have it outside. Oil changes are gonna be so much easier, in my opinion. Um, thank you, Richie, for the help. You're awesome. And we will see you guys next time.